Hello, and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. So you join me again for another painting workshop with Pascal, and this evening he shall be painting the 1 to 10 scale face from Sunshine Figures, using materials from Instar and Game Envy. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the latest miniature painting and tabletop gaming videos. Also, don't miss the live Twitch channel, weeknights, Monday to Thursday, from 7 o'clock BST. Click the link below. And now, on with the show. Right then, shall we bring the, uh, the video on in then? Let's get started. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Uh, I'm very excited for tonight because this is going to be a, a unique event, uh, as you all uh, well know. And uh, so I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be with you guys. And I hope you will very, very much enjoy what we're going to do uh, tonight. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, doing the first part of a two, uh, well, actually three-part uh, series, uh, painting the head of uh, Victoria. Um, today, we're going to be focusing on uh, skin colors uh and on uh, painting the volumes of the face seeing what uh, what is where and uh, where you should put uh, shades and highlights um a quick uh, heads up um usually when i do a real a workshop i'll tell people to uh, what level of a workshop this is um this is something like a beginner to intermediate uh, kind of workshop i'll be showing you how to do female faces with uh, cool skin colors with just three colors well, actually five, um, uh, but I'll put your mind into a uh, thinking state of uh, working with colors, working with volumes, uh, so that whatever you're learning today and, and the next time, you'll be able to um, uh, transfer to other colors, other subjects, etc., etc. First of all, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you, uh, tell you a bit of the um, the, the schedule for today. Um, in a minute, I'm going to uh, switch over to the camera, and I'll be showing you what I'll what we'll be doing on a flat surface, on a printed version of the head. I'll be just drawing with pe uh, crayons, with pencils, um, on the head, so that you can see in in a rough sketch where to focus on, uh, and, and it, because it is enlarged, you'll be seeing it much, much better. So that's what I'll be doing first. That's the theory part. So that's just watch and listen. And after that, we'll, we'll be doing that. We'll be putting it to practice and uh, we'll be seeing uh, what effects it will be done. In the next uh, session, which will be, I think, in two weeks time, three weeks time, um, we'll be putting a bit more color and uh, more liveliness into her face. We're going to work on the eyes, we're going to work on the eyebrows, uh, the lips obviously, maybe some um, uh, makeup, and we'll be starting with the hair and hopefully even finishing with the hair. Uh, and then in the third show, we'll be showing everybody's work uh, up till that point, and uh, we'll, we'll have a blast uh, just showing everybody's uh, amazing results shall we start it officially let's let's start please do okay right guys i'm gonna uh, switch over him to my other camera but first of all i've got to say this i really got to say this are you ready class is in let's go first of all this is the head of victoria in full blown out uh, measurements onto the materials I'm gonna do a, a quick um, quick heads up on the colors first i, I picked three colors um that are not basic skin pinks and just to show you that uh that there's actually little pink in uh, in skin it's most often somewhere between yellows uh, red browns browns and you can even add some greens or blues in it uh, and pink is only to uh is adding a, a, a glaze of red to it to uh, uh, create some blush or create some warmth or, or uh, life into it but these uh, these are really cool uh, starting colors so I've got my caramel matte this is going to be the base for my uh, uh, standard skin color but this is just a bit too um, caramelly I, I would say so I'll drop in a little bit of this color and this color is, is chosen because it's a brown but it's got a lot of red in it red purplish almost and that red purple uh, tone of it will enhance this color 
and then after that this will uh, be added increasingly to create my shades and this golden sand is actually a yellow and yellow is actually a warmer color um, this will be used to uh, in light to go to the towards the highlights and instead of just putting white into this um, which will make the color much more bland I'll add uh, I'd rather add some yellows and then some whites after that to keep that warmth in there to keep their uh, her face uh, warm warm and lit and alive uh, let's start with some theory first uh, I, I want you to focus uh, on uh, two things in this class uh, which one is the color use the use of colors and how to mix them and where to put shades and stuff. Uh, that's something I just uh, explained. The other one is uh, seeing how uh, what the volumes are in this face. And obviously with a female face everything is much more rounded and, uh, and eagleized and uh, a lot less contrast in it than with a male it would be. But still we've got to see where the uh, shapes are. For that I've prepared these uh, visualizations. I've drawn out um, what I think are the most prominent uh, angles of, of the, the face. And let's have a look. So I'll uh, often start with the forehead. And this um, area, if you would draw it out, would actually mm, go all the way to this side. So this is actually an egg. If you would see the entire head as a flat egg, this and this would be the surface of it uh, and maybe a bit of, on the sides but then the sculptor goes to work and uh, he's going to uh, put indentations here and there so this part is going to fall inwards outwards inwards then we've got the eyelid which is outwards again and you've got an eye uh, another eyelid which is outwards and then you've got the bigger cheek and I've got a line over here, but actually this line is only to see that this is a spherical shape over here. So there's going to be a lot of light in here, and then it's going to fade down to there. So actually this should be a faded area, right? Then you've got a cheek over here, and the cheek is actually just a bit sh chiseled out, just to say, from that egg shape. So it's going to be a bit more inwards, but also because we're going to for dramatization um, the egg is also like this so when we're putting in shades this is going to be a highly shaded area because it's going to flow away backwards and this is what we want to do with a face we're going to want to put the light in the, in the front in here and put the shades in the back which is a bit weird because we know in a spherical shape there's got to be light on top but in this face you want to put the f uh, light on the front because this is going to be the focal point. Okay, so we've got the, this side handled. Uh, the lips are going to be outwards. So this is going to be lighter than this, actually. And that's something you've got to notice. Then the upper lip is going inwards. It's going to be dark. Out lip is, uh, the lower lip is going to be outwards. It's going to be light again. Underneath there, there's going to be shade. And then there's the chin, which is going to have a lot of light in here um then we've got and this is always a really interesting point so uh, this is the forehead and there's a little area down here which in this case is really hard to see but it is there there's always a, just an indentation here so this is going to be darker than there so it's going to go inwards and then it's going to go outwards again to the nose so this is going to be dark and there's going to be a very bright highlight up here you'll be seeing that later on then it's going to go darker a bit and until it's going to be light again. So it's going to be light, a medium tone, I guess. And then it's going to be light again. So this is going to be light. The nostrils is going to be light. And then there's going to be heavy shade on the, uh, underneath it. So this is, uh, these are the volumes. See the different shapes in there? A sphere, a sphere, a sphere. Uh, you could consider this as a cube part of a cube with a uh, shaded side and a bright side etc etc see the, how it's uh, like this and this is also like two sides of a cube so I'm gonna go back to uh, this uh, thing the fun thing about this is uh, I've primed this 
face completely white. And the only thing I did was put a light on top and every shade you see here is a natural shadow. Uh, this is a good reference for us to see where the, the lighter and the darker shades should be. One thing that we can already see is there's gonna be a dark shade in here because of the hair. So this whole story is gonna be uh, adjusted just for this area because it's gotta be darker here because there's a shadow here, right? But uh, all in all, um, what I am trying to do is one light source from directly overhead in the middle, which is gonna be create what we're gonna do today. Let's say that this is already um, base coded in my base color, let's say this, right? Everything that you see is this color. So after that, we'll be doing our first uh, shadow. This is represented by this orange. It's not gonna be an orange, but to see it look good on this uh, page is gonna be orange. So what I'm gonna uh, focus on is everything that we just saw. I want to have a, uh, a, a framework. So everything on the outside is gonna be darker on this side as well. Uh, and these are gonna be dark. And this is obviously a lot of shade. I can do it like this, or I can already take that, uh, that piece of eye that we've got there into account. But beware that you're leaving the uh, eye, upper eyelid clean. And you can do a bit of it underneath there. And you've got the sides of the nose on both sides of the nose, which is hard to uh, show you here. There's gotta be shade as well. I'm gonna continue with the nose uh, alongside the nostrils. And then underneath, and I can take that up a bit there we go. And then there's the dark side here. Do not forget that. All right. And we're going to go to the upper head. Like I said, the light has to be in here. So towards here, it's going to be darker. There. All right. And because of there's the hair, you can do also this. There we go. Then we're going to go to the sides. The temples are going to be darker. Watch this. This is where the eye meets the, the iris, this point. And I've got to take it there. So this is dark. Take this point, make it like this. And then we go. Mm -hmm. There we go, all the way down. Make sure to frame those uh, uh, lower lips. And we've got the spherical in the chin. Take it way up. There we go. And we could do a very thin line over here. A bit like this. So this is one half. The other half is going to be exactly the same. Time for the second phase. I'm going to do a second um, shade color. And I'm going to represent it with this red pencil. And in this part, I'm going to do a lot more of this color into that, uh, into that base color. And I'm going to exaggerate that frame again. There we go. This part is really dark, especially here. Fading outwards. There we go. Then the sides are going to be really dark. If I want to have a real good contrast, make those sides really dark. Not too... Uh, there we go. Underneath. Frame the chin. Do these lips again. Underneath. And... What I find is that uh, in those corners of those lips, there's a little bulge always in here. And you can accentuate that a little bit. There we go. Underneath that nose, really dark shade, the nostrils. You can even do a bit on the side of those, uh, on the top of the nose, just to make those nostrils pop out. Take those parts of the nostrils, you could even go a bit there. Not too far. There we go. 
and there could be maybe a bit more darkness in here this should be darker again etc it should be something like this okay now we've got a uh, after two shades, I usually do uh, at least one or uh, sometimes two highlights. And after that, I'm going to see should my shades be darker, should my highlights be lighter. Uh, what I'm going to do now is going to paint in the uh, highlights. But because um, a bright yellow or a white in this image would really look weird uh, or is hardly visible, I'm going to do it with blue, which is going to be weird because this is a looking pretty natural with the oranges and the red and the blue is going to be completely awkward but in this point you're going to be able to see where i do put the highlights and these are highlights which are much brighter than the base color i did which is everything white here where is going to be my first highlight this is going to be here which is a really tiny bit I'm going to obviously fade that away into uh, the base color there is going to be uh, almost brightness against darkness a really definite line All right then i'm gonna let's go continue on the nose i'm gonna create a highlight over here which is gonna be fading away there and sometimes a model has really good nostrils so i'll also put a little highlight over there All right i'm gonna continue through the middle this is gonna be highlighted on top of the not on the uh, the lips themselves but just above it where there is the most light there's often a dimple in here just don't paint the dimple a lot of people think that they should really do a uh, light here and then the base color or even shade and then there's light again but that's going to be looking really awkward so please don't do that but this is light this is base color again here shade right then there's the chin and there's going to be a pretty stark highlight there i'm going to do the cheeks which are uh, sometimes the hardest parts because i'm going to do brightness right under the eyelid i hope this is the eyelid yeah <laughs> brightness on the eyelid and my main focus is going to be there all right this is going to be the brightest part part but i'm going to fade it all the way out Something like that. It's going to be there as well. Underneath. So you can take your brush. You can really make a line here. Stop there. So this is the brightest spot. And then go. Mm -hmm. There we go. You can do the upper eyelids. I um, would suggest um, that you do a little bit highlight in the middle. I cannot see it there, but in this, in the middle, which will be helpful later on if we're going to do some makeup over here. That's going to be uh, helpful for the makeup, All right? And then we've got the forehead. Uh, here's going to be a lot of light. Put it on top of the brow and fade it out. This is what we're going to do today. I think we're going to go ahead and paint. Uh, I asked everybody that uh, joined us uh, to um, prime it in pure white. And uh, I did this because it's the easiest thing to ask of everybody. I'm gonna create my first um, uh, basic colors. I'm gonna put my colors on my palette, give it a good shake. Uh, Insta, Insta Paint says, uh, uh, really thought about their products because I think there's a, uh, a shaking ball in it, isn't it? There we go. Um, please, guys, do not be too tiny with the uh, paints. Just put on a lot. And of course, some uh, water plus handy. It's magical, really. Uh, I cannot describe how it works, but it's. Um, uh, I'll dilute my paint with it instead of with water. And um, it's going to dilute it. Uh, but it's also going to enhance the way it flows onto your mini, uh, how it blends with the other colors. Uh, there's just one downside is that it's going to dry out your paint, even on your wet palette, a bit quicker. I'm going to, uh, I've taken a, a, a bigger brush, oh, sorry, this one, an older brush, because I'm not going to do uh, my uh, 
really cool uh, game envy uh, brush there um but i'm gonna mix in my first um, base color i'm gonna take a lot of that and oops there we go i'm gonna take it just a little bit see how much i'm gonna mix it in the way uh, the, the the amount of how um, much you're gonna put in there is gonna define your basic skin tone is it wrong that your first layer is not this color exactly but a bit lighter or a bit darker nope it's whatever works for you but that's going to be my base color i mix this and now you can see that's going to be it's turning a bit more like a, a flesh tone pink um it's got the the richness of the the caramel but it's got also the warmth of um uh, the what's it called the sunburn flesh this is quite an old brush and this is actually a a, a broad head brush right gonna dip it in dilute it a bit but it's not gonna be the consistency of a of a glaze or something this is my consistency i've loaded up the brush you can be really really big with it and i'm just gonna on there and I'm gonna it's gonna take two or three um uh, um layers of it but it's uh, it's really quick. There we go. Oh, I made a mess on the hair. It's no no problem. Just go all the way, and you can see that I'm dapping. I'm hardly smearing. I'm hardly stroking the um, the, the brush. It was easy. It's actually uh, covered in one go. If it doesn't cover for you, uh, probably uh, you've added a bit more water or water plus to it and so let it dry completely and you know when it's dry when it's completely bad when there's no shine to it uh, and then add a second layer so uh, when it's dry what you'll probably see is that there's going to be a speckled kind of color in, especially around the cheeks in this place but it's going to be a bit speckled now you've got two choices one is i'm going to do a second layer because i want this to be exactly smooth uh, two, I can leave it like this because this is actually emanating uh, real life skin. And since we're going to go over it with a, a load more color, it's going to die down a bit. But if you're looking at your own skin, there's variations. The only thing I need to do is uh, touch up on spots that the paint did not hit. It's, it's also worth pointing out that if you look on the... Oh, I guess it'll be the right side if you're looking at the face. Um, there is areas of her actual face that is visible under the hair, as is the oh, yeah. the ear as well, isn't there? Yep. So you don't yeah, want to miss those. Oh, this part. Yeah. Thank you, monkey. One thing you've got to remember with these paints, though, is um, that as you um, put them on, um they tend to be to look a lot brighter than they will be when they dry up so if i'm if i'm putting the same color on her chin here you'd almost say that well that's that's a lighter color gotta wait until it dries and then i'll see what color is and this is especially true when we're gonna do the uh, the shaded colors uh, so be patient let it dry Let's do a first shade color. This is almost what I'm aiming for. We're just going to do add a little drop of the darker color into this. And I hope you can already see the difference between these two colors. Going to make it big, bigger. There we go. And this I'm going to dilute a bit more than uh, before. I can do two things. I can do a good blend uh, immediately, or I can first sketch in my colors and uh, start blending it uh, out uh, later on. And uh, that's actually an easier way to do it for you guys if you're not use, uh, used with, um, with blending. So loading up my brush. Here's the consistency. It's a bit th uh, thinner. And then I'm gonna start. Uh, I for some reason I always start over here with the eyes and to create that darker and there 
make sure to leave that eyelid up, uh, apart. I'm going to take the sides of the nose. And at this point, you'll probably hardly see anything change. But when it dries down, you can see the difference. One side of the nose, underneath the nose. And the other side of the nose. See how I'm leaving a, a, a spherical form in here. So I'm just going to take it here and there. Then we're going to hit that spot. All right. And we're going to douse this part into shades. With a very fine tip, and this is where Game Envy is really doing their, his job. Just put a line under that eyelid. I want to see the eyelid later on in that shade even still. That's why I'm not uh, painting the eyelid. Gonna do the same here, just under the eyelid. And then we're gonna go to the sides. I'm gonna start on top. I'm gonna start here and gonna brush towards the darker part. There. Leave it, like I said, take this part. This is gonna be dark, but here is gonna be light. And then we're going to go inwards a bit with that shade color. See how I'm moving along and trying to miss this part here because there's going to be light. I'm just taking this side in. Go all the way back. All right. You can do a little thin line here. It's hardly necessary. There we go. And. Just do this entirely in dark color. We'll go to the lips. Underneath the lower lip. And then frame that chin. Taking it up a bit, not too far. Underneath. There's going to be a lot of sh darker shades in here as well. Now I'm going to do it on this side, which is trickier. This is easy. Dark, 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 dark. And the ears, clean, uh, make it dark on the inside, and make it dark on the back side. But on top, you can leave it like it is. This is the first stage. I'm going to create my second uh, shadow color, which is a lot of this. And just a touch of this. See that difference? It's almost this. It's just slightly lighter than uh, than the other. Some water plus added to it. There we go. Same consistency as before. To help the uh, makeup stage later on, I'm going to create a lot of darkness in this spot. Going to leave it a bit lighter here, and then going to create darkness in here again. Right, so it's it's looking like it's um, already some makeup there. A lot of darkness in here in this spot, and then uh, fade out. And we're gonna fade back in alongside those nostrils. Take that nose underneath. Make sure that there's still uh, the previous color is visible in there. Then I really want to have it dark. No matter what color I'm doing, as soon as it's going to touch some other material, I want to really have a really, really dark uh, near black shade against it. And as, 
and we're still way way off from uh, near black this is just a, a mid stage but you know we're gonna go much further in a, in a bit we've got the cheeks already again taken away lower this is the previous color going to take it lower 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 go back underneath in the back let's do the air again there we go and at this stage you're gonna see a definite line here right but we're gonna blend it away in a bit but there's a chin take it up uh, slightly up there we go as soon as you're looking at it like this you're still got to see this this shade underneath that lip take the lower lip again make it really dark and do these sides here That's really a fraction of a millimeter there. <laughs> there we go, stage two. But we've still got those lines to uh, take care of. I'm going to go to, back to my previous stage. A bit more water down. I'm just going to feather out that transition there. And this is going to take a few back and forths sometimes. There, it's already uh, starting to blend in. Uh, one thing you could do if if it's still proving to um, to be a uh, a hard line is create a transition color between this color between my uh, uh, my second shade and my first shade so which is gonna be like just in between of those two so these are my first shades this is still a bit rough you can see, and in, in like, if you want to do this perfect, this could take a while. But don't be um, uh, daunted by it, because that's that's the whole process. Just going back and forth, back and forth, until you get it. Right. These shades will probably go a lot further in a moment. But first of all, I've uh, what I want to do now is put in some highlights. Because right, I would still want to see those volumes and want to know how far can we go. And I'm going to create my first uh, highlight. So there's going to be a lot of this uh, sand, golden sand. There we go. And just with a hint of this. For consistency, you could do just the tiniest pinch of uh, the sunburned flesh in there. This is our first highlight. And this is really stark. Right, but this is what I want. I'm gonna go take it much, much further in a, in a second. Now, at this stage, I'm gonna do a bit more diluted, not a, per se a glaze, not yet, but it's gonna be a bit more diluted because the thing is with highlights, they uh, they tend to really be be stark, and and you've got to do a lot of work uh, with the um, with the blending in. So first of all, let's do the nose. This spot. Dot. And I feather it out. What I'm actually doing is I'm painting towards the lightest point. There. I could do, in this case, I, I, that's really cool. I could do a really fine line along those edges. 
thing is if you do this you're going to create a really uh, squared nose if that's your thing then do it if you want it more rounded then have those edges uh, be more blended and that way you can create a lot of uh, different shapes into the same um, to the same model so you you're you're able to uh, create your volumes as you like I'm going to put a highlight here. There we go. Now we're going to the eyes. I'm going to put a bright highlight on the top of the eyelid, but only in the middle. I'm going to do the same with that lower eyelid. But that one I'm going to take all over. Maybe a bit more to this side. Underneath that eyelid. And this is where we did the uh, darker line previously. So I'm going to try to stay away from that. And I'm going to start all the way up in here. Take that line. And gradually, what I'm doing, I'm pushing a bit more in the end uh, to broaden my uh, brush. So I'm, first, I'm painting with my tip. And then as I'm pushing, I'm, I'm pushing my brush uh, outward, creating much more uh, space. So broadening the the stroke, and then it, at the end I'm gonna go uh, smaller again. So there's the light. I can do this a bit bigger, and put some light in there. This is now really big and uh, blotchy. But like we did previously, we're going to be blending that away. Firstly, I'm going to go outside that area and then slowly taking it in. So as that is drying, I'm going to continue. So this is the top of the uh, mouth. Take it a bit there. I can do this lip with this color. And the chin. There's going to be light over there, but the air is still casting that shadow. I've got to be small with it. And blending it away. Do not be afraid to make this really bright, this part. I've got one thing, the nostrils, on top of the nostrils, just, just a bit there. Uh, uh, uh. You see that? Just that bit, on top of there. Really tiny. Right, so this is step one. I'm going to go with another highlight. So now this time I'm going to, I'm going to actually put in some white in there in that same color that we previously used to so look at this and as you can see this is not white this is actually a very yellow beige like color uh, and after this we can still use white to do some enhancement on the um, uh, highlights so i'm going to exaggerate the the highlights again on top of that nose take it a bit to the sides but this is got to be uh, like a, a half crescent moon uh, kind of shape. And it's not a problem that it might be too white. Because uh, in, the, in the next installment, we're going to be uh, adding some blushes and, and uh, color to it. And that nose is going to be part of it. Really teeny tiny spot on the nostril. Here, this has to be a really bright highlight. But it's just a fine, fine line, actually. 
And I'm seeing one highlight in the previous stage that I missed. That's on top of the brow. So I'll do that first. There we go. Before we do it with the enhanced highlight. The eyelid again in the middle. But just a bit, little bit smaller now. And the lower eyelid. Then underneath that eye again. Starting from way inside. Still going to be a large area here. And do not forget to do this bit here. Just a... there. Did you see that little dot? There we go. Blend it out a bit. Gonna make a mix of my base color and the first uh, highlight color. If you guys doing uh, this uh, at home today or, or in a later stage, um, do not fuss too much about the blending at first. Just try to get the, the shades and the highlights in the right spots. Uh, and that, if you're doing that and you can put your figure at arm's length and you squint between your eyelashes and you think uh, it's looking great, then you know you've got this, uh, the, the placing of your shades and your highlights correct. So that's the first step. And then after that, you can start fumbling around with the blending as much as you like. See that I'm only um, doing the top of the lip with this. Here in between that dimple and then the top of the lip. Let's take that lip again, just on top, in the middle. Do a, just a stroke downwards in the middle. But not all the way down, just until half of it. And then the, uh, the chin, just on top of the sphere, just a little dot. And there we go. Let's take those ears, top here. And this side. This is actually, this part is going to be the hardest part to have this blended out correctly and uh, keep keep watch of how big that light should be. As you see, I'm, I'm bringing much, much more light than I previously did by getting more highlight in there. So I can do that in here as well. Now I'm going to do one final highlight. So I'm going to take white, and this is going to be almost pure white. So just a hint of this yellow. So this is near pure white, greatly diluted, not a glaze, but still very, very thin. Sharp tip on the nose, just going to do a dot. Like that. There we go. The other side as well. There. Gonna do that line underneath her eye, like we already did two times. You can take this bit. You see, this is all a matter of dots and, and just hardly uh, any volume in there. I'm taking a, a damp brush, I'm licking it damp, and just feathering it out. There! And just by putting in those bright highlights, these shaded parts are going to be darker already.
And this is why I always do two steps one side, two, two steps the other side, and then evaluate uh, what do I want to do. And uh, I always come to the conclusion that I want to have much darker shades in there. So let's do that now. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to take black because I, I wanted to challenge myself to, by doing the three colors in black and white. I'm going to take just the tiniest of black, a bit more, and I'm going to take this color. I'm going to take quite a lot. And see how much darker that already is compared to this. So where are going to where I'm going to put those dark shades? Well, obviously underneath that chin. That's going to be really dark. There we go. You can also use this uh, as a framing color, almost. So if I'm using it as a framing color, not only should I put it here, not too much to the front, but also along the hairline. And it doesn't have to be much more than a line. There we go. So I can enhance a bit. And of course, and the hair. And underneath the nose. These are actually the, uh, the darkest place as well. I could do that lip again, by the way. There we go. I can do it in there as well. That's one shade. I'm going to go even deeper than that. So I'm going to add more black. And this is reserved for the very darkest of spots. There we go. Um, don't be too scared to, to make all those light points way too light because we're going to be uh, uh, able to dim that down a bit later on in the next show. Um, or not. And we can still bring it back much more. Uh, what I want you to do now uh, after, after you've done this is do two things. You're going to take that black, just pure black. Make sure it's really liquid, like really flowing. And paint the insides of the eyeballs. Make sure not to touch those uh, eyelids. So just the entire eyeball. Whoa. That's one side. And what you want to do is at the end here. So where it tapers to the to the point, it's just just follow the upper eyelid, the, underneath that upper eyelid, just a little bit for a really tiny line that's going to end up above that highlight you just put in there. You remember that point? Your little dot over there. So there you go. That's one. The other one's going to be a bit different, a bit diff more difficult. But easy to pull off. And second thing I want you to do is frame the entire hair. And now you've got to be careful because you're not you cannot touch the skin anymore. And there we go. And if you've done all this, then you're set up for the next uh, next show. Get your um, get your paints out. Try as the best as you can. Uh, try to follow what I do, but keep in mind the reason why I'm doing it so that you can, can incorporate the thought behind it and go be flexible with it yourself. 
and you decide whether you want that shade to be darker, yes or no, to have that highlight be lighter. At this stage, I would say, yes, make it as high, uh, as light as you can, and even that shade, make it as dark as you can. Um, and uh, But for now, uh, have fun with it, guys. That's it. So, guys, um, I'm going to sign off with the famous words, class dismissed. I'll see you in uh, three weeks. So there we go then, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed tonight's workshop. Of course, our thanks to Pascal, as always. All right, then, folks. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. But until then, bye for now.